Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's nbrown31 back at you with another Minecraft tutorial. Now in this simple Minecraft video, we're making a water elevator working in version 1.94 on all consoles. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you make a 3x3 square one block high in the sky, so the 3x3 square is floating. Then grab your pressure plate and place it right in the middle of your 3x3 square. From here, grab that magma block and place it right in the middle of your 3x3 square. After that, grab your observer block and place it face in on the magma block. Once you do that, you're going to want to extend that observer block 2x3 as you can see in the video right now. At the end of your 2x3, place a block at the end then place a block inward so you can place your regular piston toward the magma block. Then just break those two blocks behind the piston that you just placed so you now have a 3x3 square on the outer edges. From here, grab your redstone, place it behind the observer block, and make sure that the redstone is 3x2, three, 3 out and 2 down with the redstone. Once the observer detects a movement, it will activate the regular piston. After that, build 2 blocks out, then 1 block in to place your sticky piston toward the magma block. From here, place down that soul sand and get rid of the surrounding blocks around the piston. Then break out your redstone and place it underneath your pressure plate and extend the redstone by one. Once you do that, place two comparators and then a block in front of the comparators. Then place a piece of redstone next to the block, then two comparators going in toward the switch. Then from here, place a piece of redstone and make sure it's connected with your comparator. As you can see, I forgot to break the block behind the sticky piston, so break that block, put another block under your sticky piston, and have a repeater going into the block. Finally, place a piece of redstone behind the repeater so the whole circuit is connected. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the wiring. Step on that pressure plate and you'll see the sticky piston moves first due to the pulsating comparator circuit. Once it starts to die down, the sticky piston will retract, causing the observer block to send out a quick signal to the regular piston so the magma block can be back in its position. From here, use any block you like and build to the sky around that magma block. Once you reach your limit, go back down to the very bottom, add a couple blocks outward, and place two signs where I show, so it blocks the water coming out. Afterwards, get your bucket of water, go to the very top, place it, and then you're done. You, my friend, have yourself a working simple water elevator in Minecraft version 1.94 on all consoles. This should work on PC as well. Other than that, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. And Brown 31 out.